In this video, I'm going to show you how to macro with Nature Macro and Bee Swarm. So using this macro, you can literally make up to like 50 trillion honey per day. I'm not even kidding. All the leaderboard players do it. So if you do end up enjoying this video or it helps you out somehow, make sure you drop a like and subscribe so I can stop to help out some fellow Bee Swarm players. And make sure you guys watch all the way till then because I'm going to explain the very best settings to use for macroing in Bee Swarm. So for this macro to work, you do need a PC or laptop with Windows on it. So yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. So I'm going to leave all the links you need in the description and you also need Discord to install all this macro so make sure you have a discord account it's really simple to make so the next step is to join the nature macro discord server i'm gonna leave it in the description as well and you guys can join my discord as well if you'd like but yeah join this nature macro discord right here and once you're in here you have a choice to verify but you don't have to so you can go straight to nature macro right here it's in the nature channel and just download the newest version the newest version right now is this version 0.9.7 so you can click direct download right here it might say this is potentially dangerous but trust me it's not i've been using this for years and it should have installed the nature macro in your downloads so the next step is just to go to your downloads once you find the nature macro right click on it and click extract files now extract the files to wherever you know you can find it so for example my desktop i know i'll be able to find the files easy so i'm just going to click desktop and click ok yes to all next just go to wherever you extracted the macro double click on the folder and double click on start and there we go the nature macro is open that wasn't so difficult now was it so if you don't have the nature macro open right now make sure you re-watch the video because it's actually quite simple to get but yeah, now it's time to go over the best settings to use. So first of all, you have the gather menu. And here you can select the field which you're going to macro in. Since I'm a blue hive, I always macro in pine tree. If you're a red hive, I recommend you macro strawberry. And if you're a white hive, it's probably best to do sunflower. But you can choose any field. And say you need a bunch of blueberries or pineapples for crafting. Just as an example, you can select something like pine tree or pineapple to get those fruits. Now for the pattern shape, the easiest pattern is just elo. And another really important thing for when you're choosing where to gather. If you don't have a lot of instant conversion, I would recommend recommend you have to hive by walk. So I think by default, the macro will say to hive by reset. So that means when the macro is done farming, it's going to reset your character and all your pollen in your backpack is going to disappear. Because that setting is intended for people like me who have a lot of instant conversion. But if you don't have a lot of instant conversion, just have to hive by walk and you're going to make a lot more honey that way. The next menu is the collect slash kill. Now this menu I absolutely love. For the collect, you should always have tickets on because everyone needs tickets in Bee Swarm. If you don't have a bunch of tickets, then I don't know what you're doing. If you want, the macro can kill the Mondo for you for the buff or if you want the loot you can just set it to kill if you need ant passes you can set it to collect passes or the macro can even do ant challenges for you same with the robo passes honey storm now for the dispensers i would always recommend you have glue on and royal jelly is also useful sometimes especially if you're a newer player i don't really care for these dispensers and obviously when it comes to bismuth you can just select the macro to collect all the stuff you want so i recommend you have all the stuff for bismuth on now on the same menu you can also see the kill buttons this is a page where you select which mobs you want the macro to kill so me personally i usually have the bug run on. The macro can also kill bosses for you, so if you want it to kill the king beetle, select it. Same with tunnel bear. And if you want the macro to get baby love when you kill the bosses, just select these two baby love icons. And something really OP about this macro is actually the kill of vicious bee. And this is low key so OP. I'm not even kidding when I say you can get like a hundred singers per day doing this. Now, when it comes to boost, so say you're a blue hive and you want to use blue extracts when you're gathering, put the blue extracts in slot two, for example. Now go to hot bar slot two on the macro, and you want the extracts to be used when you're gathering, so just select gathering. And if you want it to be used every 10 minutes just put in 600 seconds if you want every 15 minutes just do 900 seconds and yeah all these settings are incredibly good now when it comes to quests once more i would recommend you have polar bear quests on me personally i have 1.5 thousand polar bear quests done but that's not even a lot there's literally people with 30 thousand polar bear quests i'm not even kidding and it's all because of macroing so i would recommend you always have polar bear on if you got black bear's myth gag then you can select black bear's quest to be done same with buck and riley these are also really useful especially if you're trying to get a tool like the tide popper or dark scythe but you don't have the quests so if you need some extra quests just like these two honeybee is kind of useless i prefer to save my honeybee buff for what i'm boosting now the planners is probably my favorite the first step to activating the planners is just to drag this little thingy to the plus now there are some presets but you can always modify it to be what you need so once more i'm gonna use a blue hive as an example because i'm a blue hive obviously now my first priority nectar is gonna be comforting nectar because it's a blue nectar i'm gonna put it in slot one i'm gonna put it to 90 percent my second priority is gonna be motivating that can be 90 as well my third is gonna be satisfying 
satisfying that can be 80. Now invigorating and refreshing, which is a little less important. These can go to 50 each. Now I'd recommend you put this to harvest every two hours just so you get as much nectar as possible. Make sure you have max planters set to three and obviously select all the planters that you have unlocked. So for me, I have all of these down here. I have the hydroponic and the petal planter. I guess you can do ticket and paper planters, but they aren't as good as the rest of these up here. And I wouldn't really mess with any of the fields. Just leave it how it is. Now this is really important for the macro to work properly. You're going to want to go in your beast swarm settings right here and check your move speed, but make sure you don't have any haste or buffs. So if you have the bear morph, obviously you're going to be running a lot faster. So you want your base move speed. So for me, my base move speed without any buffs is 33.6. So you're just going to go into the character setting right here and put 33.6. This is incredibly important for the macro to work properly. Here you can put the private server link to whatever. I definitely didn't leave the game trying to get the link on accident. And yeah, you can put how many bees your hive has. And now there are a bunch of useful tools here. So for example, you can get a gifted basic bee. I haven't really used any of this, but all these tools are incredibly cool. And now probably one of my favorite parts about this macro is actually the status. Now with this status right here, you're going to be able to see stats like this. So how much honey you're getting per hour and these insanely detailed graphs right here. It's actually kind of insane. Like how many tokens you're getting, the buffs and nectars that you have. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. You're once more going to need to go to Discord. So you need to create your own server, so just to create my own for me and my friends. And then I call mine macro server. So here, just go into any channel, like general, edit channel, go to integrations, click create webhook, new webhook, click on the webhook you just created. I'm just gonna make this macro updates, whatever. So just click save changes and copy webhook URL. Once you have copied your webhook, go to the nature macro, click change discord settings, enable the webhook URL, and just click this button right here, which is gonna paste the webhook into the nature macro. And also enable screenshots, but this is probably my favorite part of the actual status updater. And yeah, just enable all these, it's pretty cool. And if you want the macro to ping you, for example, when you disconnect or the game is frozen, or if the macro is just bugging out, Go back to Discord, click on your profile, click copy user ID, and once more paste it into the Discord webhook settings. And when you're ready to start macroing, just click F1 on your keyboard, and the macro should do everything for you. Like right now, I'm clapping my hands, I'm not moving, I'm not touching my keyboard, I'm definitely not clapping your mom. And yeah, dude, my hands are off the keyboard, the macro is doing everything. I think it's gonna do planners right now because I don't have any. I mean, hopefully I don't. And if you wanna exit the macro, just click F3 on your keyboard. So I'm just gonna let this macro do its thing for a while, just to show you guys what it looks like. And I'll be back in like 27 days, like my dad went out to get milk. So I've been macroing for about an hour now. I got a bunch of nectars. I got my bubble blowed up. And more importantly, let's take a look at Discord to see how much honey I made. And as you can see right here, it shows how much honey I'm making. And it also tells me that hourly average is 68.5 billion. And in the session, I gained 21 billion honey. It's actually kind of insane. So yeah, that's a nature macro. I do hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, make sure you drop a like and sub and tell me in the comments how much honey you make per day macroing. And I also want to mention a man by the name of Super Dad. Unfortunately, he did pass away earlier this year and he's one of the people that made the nature macro possible. So yeah, Super Dad, thanks for the macro, bro. We appreciate your contribution to making more honey and bee swarm and rest in peace. If you want to donate to his family, that'll be in the description. And yeah, make you join the nature macro discord also in the description they will help you with everything you need and make sure you also join my discord if you want to if you want to lose a few brain cells and talk about beast swarm with people just join that it's pretty freaking poggers but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace